bit. Who is this? This is uh, an LGBTQ plus health center came in to talk to my high school students. Nice. They're just like passing around dildos, butt plugs. He keeps saying it. What the fuck? Looking at, they uh, like it. They get off on this shit. In, in a classroom. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm sitting there. Then we had a drag queen come in, um, pass out cookies. And I thought that wasn't sexual. Brownies and do yep. photos. It's so amazing. And everybody's cool with that. Like the butt plugs and the dildos. Yeah. Nobody complains. No. Yeah. I mean, if the parents found out, but they. No. It's queer sex. This is the drag queen that and came children, in. Dude. What's her name? Wow. Uh, Alexis Bevels. Alexis Bevels. And just hung out in my classroom. And was there? Or hung out in my office. You have so much freedom. So much wiggle room. So much freedom. So much money. I mean, I mean to do stuff. Trustees are okay with that too? Oh, yeah. They don't know. They would, it's like, we. I wouldn't even like run it by them. Like, why would I run it by them? They'd be like, oh my God, that's wonderful. What the, with the fuck, dude? With the classroom, 14, 18. They're like, how do you, how does this book work? How do mm. I do, like, how does this work? Right. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a really like cool part of my job is, I don't have to worry about stuff like that. They're groomers. <sighs> Okay, so I, I'm just gonna say it right now. Um, you know, I'm I'm going through some shit legally. I, I, I should put it this way: there's always some legal shit going on when you when you're running a business like this. You got legal shit, but uh, you know, um, I get some messages. I'm not gonna say too much about something called defamation per se. Okay, do you guys know what that means? No, what's the okay, per so, se mean? So a lot of a lot of people they don't get this. You, uh, people are tweeting at me like, Tim, you could never sue anyone for defamation because you could never prove damages. Plus, there's the actual malice standard. And it's like, my guy, my guy. Yes, I know all of that. Defamation per se is defamation that is so egregious, you don't need any of those things. Yeah. You don't need to prove damages. Like, for instance, calling someone a pedophile typically is defamation per se because it is so extreme. Now, the issue, I guess, is what if you have an actual basis for calling someone that? Then you're good. So it's interesting that you can try and claim, but your honor, he called me a pedophile. And then the defense would be this guy right here, Joseph Bruno, is in a room where children are playing with dildos and he's bragging about how awesome it is. And it's so cool that he gets to do that. Right. And anyone, any regular person would probably say that Joseph Bruno is a pedophile. Yeah. Yep. Evil. Oh, if that was my kid's school. Holy It'd shit, bro. This is why the <laughs> Bible done. says what it says. <laughs> right into it. And, Le right. and Leviticus 20, Leviticus 18. Have you ever seen the painting, uh, Garden of Earthly Delights, that was painted in the 1500s? It's a, it's a oh. three, it's a triptych, and it's like the fall of man. So the left panel is, is Jesus with Adam and Eve in the garden. The middle panel is like depravity, orgies, and stuff. And mm -hmm. the third panel is like hell. That looks like the third panel. Yes. Right. The third panel is like birds with crowns eating men and shooting them out into pots, like darkness, fires, it's people with spears through their asses. And uh, I mean, this is like how that looks to me. You know, back in biblical times, that person would have been stoned in a public square. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally. No, that's, that's pure evil. Like they go after the kids. <laughs> it, it blows my mind that that's acceptable. That uh, he thinks it's okay to say it in public. 